Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video. It's Elza Nito and um, welcome to another photo replication, Photoshop replication tutorial. So today we're going to be doing something pretty interesting. Hopefully it doesn't take too much of our time. Let's hope so. Um, so we're going to be replicating this particular poster. So let me just show you. Yeah. This particular poster it's a it's quite simple but also technical so this is the club of this guy i i'm not a really good football follower like that so i don't really know who this person is so but this is um this club versus this club and we have number 20 we have 29 i don't know i just saw this poster on twitter and i love it right i just love the way it was looking so i was like okay let me do it for uh, my favorite um, football star which is Sir Ronaldo um, yeah so yeah I decided let me just let's see what we can create let's see how we can create this and you will notice that first of aside all this test this character this is the character but is um, portrait version but in a dark effect right but not entirely dark because you see towards the down part we have some of his body showing but towards the down part again we have the entire stadium showing as well right and you would see this grainy effect that was attached to this design like some grainy effect was added to this effect to this design so we're going to be doing all this right so the first thing we want to do is create a canvas a canvas and you would notice that this poster is quite looks like an a4 poster so for that i'm going to be working with the width of 4000 and the height of 5000 or width of three eight hundred um now this might be slightly big slightly large for a lot of us but you can use something um smaller depending on you know the spec of your system so ronaldo poster let me just call it that so yeah this is what we're going to be using right so first thing first I mean this is what we're going to do last all this text and stuff is what we're going to do last this is going to it might be a long tutorial i don't know yet so we're going to just be flowing with it you know so the first thing we want to do is bring in this all the character the portrait then the image and all that so i was able to like search through the internet and i got um this image of ronaldo this is one i love this image but i wanted something that has action just like this so another thing i did was i got this image of him trying to do a bicycle kick which is like the best so yeah then the last one is the image of this portrait so i'm going to do my best to see what i can do with this image now this image is not so sharp so i'm going to first of all um i'm going to let's try to let me see what I can do. I want to. What am I trying to do? I want to increase. You'll see what I'm trying to do just with. Um, I'm trying to look for this. Um, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, yeah. Upscaler. So I want to upscale the image. <coughs> I'm trying to upscale the image. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in the image, this particular one. I'll use four times. So I'll download this. And if we go back to downloads, you can see the difference. This is 45 kilobytes and this is 500 kilobytes. Yo. So now I can open this with Photoshop. You can see how clear it is, right? So I can press select subject. Now, because we want it, you can see this character like it is actually detailed. So we want it to be detailed as well. So what we are going to do is first of all, we're going to zoom in to make sure that it is properly selected. Every part of it is properly selected. And we are sure okay you can see this part 
now we are, when we are sure of the selection we can go to select and max and press refine air so it can refine the air of Ronaldo so another thing we can then do is we can come down here and add some contrast or reduce some contrast depending on what you're looking for you can then reduce the edge right something like this is fine let's zoom down then you can make sure, make sure you press decontaminate colors right make sure you press decontaminate color and press ok so now we have let's apply layer mask now we have this image on its own so we're going to drag it into this poster so first thing first i'm going to enlarge this like this all right and press done again this is our image this is our design you can see the way the design looks like we'll try our best to make it quite similar to this but i mean it's replication we're supposed to add our own twist to it right so yeah let's see what we can do with this um yeah um pardon my slow i mean it's 12 i'm recording this um 12 25 a.m so i'm a bit tired so <laughs> yeah anyways let's go so this is Ronaldo. Ororo, like some of my friends used to call him. So I'm going to duplicate his image, right? I'm going to duplicate his image. This particular one, what I want to do is I want to make it pure black. To do that, let's just first create. Um, so what I did was I went to adjustment layer and I chose, I'm, I'm going to choose brightness and contrast. And I'm going to okay no no sorry not brightness and contrast delete so go to adjustment layer again like I said we're just going to be trying doing try and error so so go to U and saturation um, from U and saturation make sure that um, it is clipped to the image so right click and clip it to this so for your U and saturation you can bring down the um, let me see is it showing fully okay we can bring this down like this let's just see what let's see what magic we can con concur with this all right so here and such and now the reason i'm using here and saturation and, and i'm just i'm not just converting the image directly to um black is because it would be very easy for us to use this layer max to play around bringing some some of the image back to life like for example um we can use if I take my brush and I select this ear and saturation, I can brush out some part that I want to show, as you can see here, right? So some of this part, I want this part to show, as you can see. So let's just imagine that this is what, you, know, you get what I'm saying? So it is very, very easy for us to work with this than working with um, just changing the exact, the entire image to, um, black totally that might not work so yeah um, let me see what I can do with the air let's just okay let's, yeah the air slightly um, again I'm trying to I'm trying to see what I can do with this so before we continue right let's make this image black and white so go to black and white and convert it now the reason I'm saying that is it's easier for us you can see you can feel this you can see that it is not totally colored it's black and white so have it as black and white then introduce this so that way if you want to probably brush out some part of the image it can still give it this kind of monochromatic view or monochromatic feel i mean if you understand what i mean so let me just reduce the opacity then increase the brush slightly and just dab if i see that it is not um, giving me what i want i'll just i would um, change it back but for now let's leave it as this so you just watch what i'm doing right just <laughs> flow along with what i'm doing now i have this image where we'll come back to it later let me delete this we'll come back to it later first off let me save 
I mean, it doesn't. My system really crashes. So, but let's just to this <laughs> to be on the safer side. So yeah, now that we have this, the next thing is to bring in this um, stuff. And to do that, I'm just going to again this image is small, so let's quickly um, let's upscale it quickly. All right, let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to upscale it to times four. I'm going to download and yeah, to download it. So I'm going to delete this one. And this is one I'm using. So I'm going to open this with Photoshop, right? So what I want to do is this. Now I could just drag this image and bring it here and power clip it into the image, right? But there's something that, has, like you can see that this image itself is also separate from the background itself. So we need to separate the character from the background. So to do that, just press select subject and let's see what AI can help us select. And you can see it's actually made a perfect selection. I, well, it's not so perfect, but we can then perfect it by doing our own selection. Adding what needs to be added and subtracting what needs to be removed, right? Just make sure that everything looks cool. Mm, this is not again. This one does not need to be perfect because the background will still be at the back. We just need to make sure that uh, we have a separate um, image of Ronaldo from the background so that we can do other effects with it. I don't know if you understand, but. Don't worry, as we continue, you get to understand. All right. So I'm just going to make some selection. All right, so I think I'm satisfied with the selection so I can just press Ctrl J <coughs> now that I have Ctrl J selected I can also click on this to unlock the image so I'm going to select the image and hold Ctrl and select the other layer right click and press click link layers so that when we are dragging it we are dragging it together then I'm going to bring it into um, this part now I'm going to increase the size, um, not so much, just something like this. Let's see, it's quite big actually. Okay, this is fine. Alright, something like this works. Now I'm going to unlink the layers. Now we have this. You can see we have the separate and we have this separate. So then first, the next thing we want to then do is we want to make this image. You can see the image extends to the entire character. So to make it extend as well, we can just select. Oh, uh, okay. So what we'll do before we even select, I think we have to first do it on the main design itself, which is this one. So what, what I want to do is I want to extend. Um, the canvas of um, this design and the reason why i'm extending it is so that it can properly enter this space now what i'll then do is i'll select just this part and i'll press um let me press on um, on link this yeah and i'll press content aware view um, let's just work with what we are giving. All right. So I've, having done that, select the layer again. Select the spot. Right click, content aware view. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> cancel. Let's cancel. Let's properly select it. Then content aware view. All right, it looks better. So I'm going to 
merge all these three together so merge layers now i'm going to select this layer and this layer and link it like we've done before and we can then drag it into this design now it is easy for us to stretch it like this without you know you get what i'm saying so yeah so, all right so let's continue now unlink the layers so we have this layer separate and we have this separate so this one we need to bring it into this image so we're going to clip it into this character so let's go to right click and clip image as you can see we have this here uh, we're going to bring it down here okay okay so we're going to bring it up actually now before we continue you can see there's a mistake here so let's quickly see what we can do to that mistake let's just um, feel content away and yeah let's just add that like that all right so now that we have this again you can see that this is dark but the cloth is showing then the field is showing so we're going to use that um, concept for this as well we're going to click on layer max so that we can paint out some part of this background that we do not need so to do that ensure your opacity is at 100 then when you paint out you can see that it is being painted right let me see where it stops okay so let's say it is being painted like this then we can reduce the opacity and paint some other part as well yeah some other part as well all right let me see this top side can be better all right something like this works all right so i'm just going to see if i can leave this like this all right um so now that we have this let's just see what it looks like when we turn on this we can see that it looks um yeah looks quite similar but i mean it, it can still have a lot of things to be added to it so again what we we'll then do is let's see if we can mm, let me see i think we can make it bigger actually delete layer max let's make it bigger so select the two let me release this clipping max so select this two and make it bigger yeah let's make it bigger so now right click and clip this layer to this layer so then i'm going to create layer max and let's see what we can do we can brush out those parts that we do not need I just brush out those parts. So then turn this one on. Let's see. I think it's almost similar. Almost similar. Not totally similar, but almost similar. So another thing we can then do is we can add light and shadow to um, to the shirt itself. So create a new layer, call it light, and we can just add it to to the edges. So 
So let's call this overlay. Let me see what we can do with this. Let me paint this one off. Some parts needs to be off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I think this works. Yeah, I think this works. So let's see if we can introduce some um, color lookup so that we can have some, you know, some cinematic vibe going ahead or going into the design. So I have foggy nights which I like using. Let me see how I can introduce for game nights without. Okay, we can use it to we can darken it a little bit and just okay, something like this. But this this time now I'm just trying so many things. I'm just trying to see how I can work without you know totally messing it up. Okay, let me try to get a texture effect. So I'm going to go to PNG wing and type in green. Green texture. can I use or instead of even looking for green texture I think I can just stick I can actually pick it from this tutorial is getting longer already I can actually pick it from one of my um, design that I made I made recently so yeah let me just drag this So now that we have this, we can call this. So before we continue, let's quickly do the top side, right? So that top side it says the logo versus. So let's quickly look for our Nasir logo. So this is. This is their logo. I need one that has. Okay, this is it. So I'm just going to save this. Okay, just drag this into Photoshop. Reduce the size. Bring it up here. Rasterize layer, make it black and white. Where are you? Desaturate. I think desaturate does not even do the job. Let's just make it black. All right. So now that we have this, we can zoom in. Draw. The next thing we have is our rectangle, right? Draw a rectangle. Let's make sure we are working with black. Draw a rectangle and just make it stay somewhere like this. So we have vessels, blah 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 blah. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to play around the text. So let's just write vessels 
let's make this black vasos um, Manchester United <laughs> all right champions league UEFA Champions League O one O one dot O one dot twenty twenty five we just call this um old Trafford Stadium <coughs> So we can see that there's enough space both in the canning and the leading and versus is is not as bold as this So first of let's add some little little space Okay, and let's make this light And let's actually reduce the size of the text. Yeah, something like this works. Let me see how it looks like. Huh? No. Rectangle is too. So, having done that, the next thing is to have what 29 at the top. I don't know what 29 signifies, but I'll just I'll just put something there. And you can see that the font is actually different from other fonts. So we are going to use our favorite font for that. So let's call this um, 42. Oh, 40, yeah, 42. So we we'll use butter shine. I'll make it large it's as large as the logo or even larger than the logo all right Change the color to white. I'm trying to see if a different color makes it look nice. I'll just work with what I have which is this I mean when you're doing yours definitely you can do your best to um, get better images especially if the image like for example the templates were the in the poster we are replicating the footballer has like a distinct character characteristics and that is afro and that makes it it does to give it gave it like this kind of cool effect Sure, you understand. So you can easily get um, a footballer or a character that has like a distinct picture. You understand that? That way you're able to like still like you know create something cool out of it. So yeah. Um, now that we have this, I'm just going to stop here. Um, 
I'm going to introduce some other stuff like probably let's see if we can add some curves to it. Let's see if I can do some. Let's see if I can add some curves. Okay. So let's say we are. Uh, Oh, okay before we do before we go let's add this let's add like a, a light effect behind behind the character but i'm not really seeing any difference yeah i'm not really seeing any difference anyways now that we are good to go the next thing to do is select the first layer scroll down select hold shift and select the last layer and control shift alt e so that it can convert everything to a singular image so that image you can then go to filter camera or filter and we have our image here and we can choose light and see if we can play with the exposure um reduce the contrast if you want you can add some highlights to it if you want you can reduce or increase the shadow if you want just play with it but what we are going for first of let's add some clarity does it make sense adding clarity yeah? slightly can add some BS to it now this grain is what we are going for <coughs> in the original poster <coughs> excuse me in the original poster the design has a lot of graining effects so <coughs> we'll just introduce a lot of grain to it yeah something like this So yeah, that's basically it. If you can play along with any other thing, like you know, you can increase the sharpness, you can reduce the noise a little bit if you want. And, you know, just play around it. Let me see if I can add some vibrance to it. So when you're done, you can see the difference before and after. I save your work and you export that save as oh, it's currently saving. Just wait for it to save. I guess it's a large file, so just give it some minutes. Oh, all right, I have to go and sleep. Still saving. Alright, it's done saving. So save as a copy, go to desktop, save as JPEG, and you can press OK. And we are good to go. So let's open desktop and see our design. So this is what we created. And yeah, so I can't wait to see what you are able to create with this whole concept that we have now i would have loved to put some like blurry effect to the edge i missed that but yeah no design is perfect so yeah i'm going to catch you later um share comment and like and subscribe um and as usual cheers